Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to achieve this doing makeup look that highlights your facial features. It's all about fluffy lashes, plenty of glitter and glossy lips. Without further ado, let's begin with the makeup. First, I'm using a circle lenses from Olens in the colour Coral Green, which enlarge the iris for a white eye effect. This one I'm using is a daily lenses and it feels very comfortable on my eyes. To create this makeup look, I'll be starting with my brows first. I'll be using a brown eyebrow pencil from Daiso to create a more natural look, followed by a brown brow mascara to soften and colour the brows. Moving on to my eyes, I'll use an eye primer from Rare Beauty on my eyelids before applying any eyeshadows. Next, I'll use the blush from Etude House in the shade Thick Toast all over my eyelids and lower lash line as a base. I'll blend it with a blending brush to avoid any harsh lines. Then, I'll use the coral shade Cindy from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bible eyeshadow palette at the outer corners of my eyes to create dimension, as well as the outer area of my lower lash line and blending it with a brush. Finally, I'll use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Pearlescent Pink on the inner to middle part of my lower lash line. Next, I'll use the same Daiso Eyebrow Pencil to create a wing liner. Then, I'll go over with it with a liquid liner from Floret to make it more defined and then blending both of them using a brown eyeshadow palette from the same ABH palette in the colour Chai. Lashes play a significant role in this look to make my eyes pop I'm um, first using a lash curler from So Cute to curl them up. Next, I'll apply a clear mascara from Can Make Quick Lash Curler to keep my lashes lifted all day. Followed by the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Here is the before and after application. You can really see how much wider and more awake my eyes look. And I'll do the same for my lower lashes. Afterwards, I'll apply this false lashes to fill in any gaps, enhancing my lashes for a fuller and fluffier appearance. I'll use a lash colour to blend my natural lashes with the false lashes for a seamless look. To make my eyes pop, I'll add some glitter and I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm in the shade How Many Carrots on the centre of my eyelids and the middle of my lower lash line. Thank you. 
moving on to my face, to even up my skin tone, I'm going to use the Folklore Color Correct to address my dark circles and redness. This palette includes 5 different colors to neutralize various blemishes. And I'm using my all-time favorite MAC concealer brush and mixing the pink shade with the orange shade to cover my dark circles. Then, I'll apply the green shade to cover any redness on my face. I'll then use a sponge to blend out the edges. To achieve the Douyin makeup look, also known as the doll-like makeup, having clear skin is essential. I'll be using the Shuomara Unlimited Breathable Lasting Fluid Foundation. The shade I bought is too light for me, so I'm mixing it with a darker concealer to match my skin tone and add a bit of coverage as well. This foundation feels light on your skin and has a semi-matte finish, which lets your skin breathe and the one thing to take note about it is that it dries down very fast. Therefore, I'll apply one section of my face at a time. Next, I'll use a blue blush on different areas of my face, such as my nose bridge, the tip of my nose, my brow bones, and my under eyes. This helps to give me a more lifted look and brightens my entire face. I'll then use a pastel purple blush from the same brand to achieve a more radiant look. But this time around, I'm only applying it on my cheeks. Then, I'm using a reddish pink blush from Tarte in the shade Ornate on my cheeks and nose to achieve a flushed appearance. For bronzer, I'm using the Too Cool for School bronzer to lightly bronze my jawline to enhance my natural features. I will also contour my nose with a MAC eyeshadow in the shade Omega to create a natural looking straight nose bridge. For highlight, I'll first use the Dandelion Twinkle from Benefit on the tip of my nose, my nose bridge, and the inner corners of my eyes. Then, I'll use the Becca Highlighter Palette from the Ocean Jewel Collection in the shade Pink Pirate on my cheekbones. To complete the look, I'm applying a peachy red lipstick from the Dior Addict Collection in the shade 524 all over my lips. Then, I'll add a darker coral colour from Colourpop in the shade Money Moves to the inner part of my lips for dimension. I will also use a light contour shade from Too Cool For School Bronzer to define the Aegeo cell, also known as the baby eye fat, under the lower lash line and blend the edges smoothly. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have tried this look and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! If you
can't see. 